Hi guys, welcome back to Cooking with the Salmons and this is Greg. Now today I'm going to be teaching you guys how I make my candied strawberries. Alright? Now before I do that, just go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Hit that post notification bell as well so you'll be notified each time we post. Alright? And without further delay, let's get started. Okay guys, so these are the ingredients that we're going to need to make our candied strawberries. Alright? So let's see here, we have nine strawberries. We have some skewers. We also have our spatula. We have, we're gonna be using three cups of sugar, that's granulated sugar, two cups of water, half cup of corn syrup for this recipe, all right? We also need our candy thermometer and we need that to ensure that we have the right temperature for dipping. We need it to be 300 degrees so we're gonna put the mixture on and as soon as it gets to 300 degrees, it's time to take it off the stove and get ready for dipping, all right? So I will show you exactly how this is done. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly how I go about preparing my strawberries for dipping, all right? Now, make sure your strawberries are washed properly now you can cut the, the the edges off the the part with the stem or you could leave it on it's your choice i just go ahead and insert my skewer like this you can choose to do singles or you can do multiples i'm gonna do multiples for this this video so it's gonna be like a like a kebab All right, so I'm putting uh, three on each. Okay guys, so to our pot, we're gonna add our sugar. And as I said, for this recipe, we are using three cups of sugar. Then we add our two cups of water. And then I'm gonna add a corn syrup. All right, there are different ratios for different recipes based on the type type of um, fruit you're dipping based on the amount and also based on the, con the, the the hardness of the of the shell at the end because some some of them can be really hard and some can just be really thin all right all right so you just go ahead and just try to incorporate incorporate the sugar the um corn syrup and the water you don't have to do much mixing because while it's boiling it's going to be incorporated as well all right so go ahead and get this on low to medium heat. I'm also gonna add my candy thermometer. Just ensure that the tip of the thermometer is only touching the liquid and not the bottom of the pot, all right? Because if it touches the bottom of the pot, it's gonna give you a false reading and that's gonna mess up your whole mixture because it's gonna tell you that it's 300 degrees when it's not all right so let's make sure that just the tip is touching the liquid and not touching the bottom of the pot all right so we're gonna go ahead and get this boiling and we'll show you exactly what it looks like in just a few minutes okay guys so at this stage this is about five minutes in you'll see that we have a violent 
boil and we're at we're at about uh 220 degrees now all right so keep watching it because it's gonna slow down the boil is gonna slow down when the mixture start thicken and then it will reach 300 degrees pretty fast all right so don't leave it just keep watching it just make sure that you don't go beyond the 300 degrees and just keep being patient and watch it all right so i'll come back to show you when it slows down and when it's almost at 300 degrees or at 300 degrees so now we have reached the 300 degrees stage time to turn your stove off take your mixture off and time to start getting ready to dip all right so just wait until those bubbles subsides and then you can go ahead and start dipping and i'll show you exactly how that is done okay guys so for our strawberries just gonna go in gonna lean our pot and then just roll the strawberries in the mixture all right drain excess and then we can place that on our silicone mat go ahead and do the same and then place that on our silicone mat. Drain whatever excess. Then we can place this on our silicone mat as well. Okay guys, and just like that, we have candied strawberries, all right? You could decide whether you want to add color or you want to add any kind of toppings. But for this recipe, I'm just showing you exactly how you go about making it just the easy and simple way. All right? And there you have it. Candy strawberries made easy. Now, if you gained any knowledge from this video, just go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Hit that post notification bell as well so you'll be notified each time we post. If you do your candied strawberries another way, drop it in the comment section so we could discuss it. If there's any other recipe you'd like for us to try, just go ahead and drop that in the comment section and we'll be sure to get to it. All right? And until next time, walk good, one love, and big up on yourself.